are eliminated everyone yeah either technically post rejections my heart <laughs> Very popular, Abella. Most asked out. Oh, it's I. <laughs> play is gonna play. <laughs> well done, well done. <clears throat> okay. So how do you guys feel? We're running short on time for the stream. We got about uh, a solid... 20, 20, uh, well, about like 25 minutes. Do we want to do another monster date or do we want to check out another game? Uh-uh. Play another? Okay. Got you, got you. Let's check out another one. New game it is. Okay. That house. Could be bumping. Okay. Looks like we got... Fibbage 3. Favorite way through all new question types, all new game mode, Fibbage. Enough about you. Gets the weird facts about your fellow players. Hmm. We have survived the internet. Log on, strap in. It's survival of the funniest as you playfully take your friends out of context across the World Wide Web. Ooh, okay. We have one for Fibbage, one for internet. We also have Bracketeering, the Deranged Debate Tournament. What's the best vegetable for Benedict Cumberbatch to move in a to voice in a movie? Play smart bets on what will win stupid arguments. And Civic Doodle. We've been hired to create murals all over Doodle Valley. Compete to see who can make the best additions in your attempt to beautify the city. Let's see. Do we have anyone that wants to break a tie? Best I intervene? You know what, I'll give it to... Because I'm kind of feeling... Fibbage. Alright, Fibbage it is. Maybe in another stream? Uh, not Salt Boy? Uh, we can check out Survive the Internet. So. And then... The game will crash. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that happened. Right? On a night of unpredictable events. <laughs> of course, right? On a night like this where apparently anything can happen. Of course the game would just... <laughs> Now work. Let's try it again. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let me... So do we want to play standard Fibbage or Fibbage enough about you? I'm not sure which is better. Or if this is like... For friends, friends, as in... <laughs> All is possible. Indubitably. Let's see. I think that's already on. Perfect. Seems good. Enough about? Okay. Uh -uh. And then, no matter. Alright. We'll try the, uh, I guess, alt version. Do you like the music? 
spilling it. Great. Uh, welcome, Epic Cool Kid. Push your marks is back. Uh, ooh, Pisces Diva 35 and 32. And myself. We have two spots remaining. Uh, wait about 30 seconds. If anyone that's here that would like to join, here's your chance. Feel free to. Uh, just vibe with the music for a bit. Enjoy this moment in time. I'm Epic Cool Kid. Ah, okay. Nice. <laughs> I am Pisces, dude. I, I am Ego. <laughs> nice. Uh -oh, audience friend. Okay, last call. 10 seconds. I'm salty. <laughs> Alright. I'm sleepy. <laughs> okay, starting the game. We'll see how long this lasts. Maybe we could do two. <laughs> Try to make it a good one. Welcome to Enough About You, or as I want to call it, Angry Birds. But apparently that would have been a bad idea. Legally. <laughs> hey, didn't I go to high school with you guys? Oh, and if anybody else wants to join, they can get in the audience at any time. Audience members get to guess the truth <laughs> and pick decoy lies to fool the players. Okay, here we go. Here's how it works. I'm going to beam a question about you to your device. Answer with the truth. In a sec, you'll get your chance to lie about your fellow players. You get 500 points for everyone you fool with your lies, 1,000 for finding the truth, and when the question's about you, you get reputation points for players who get the right answer. Ready? Well, I am. Submit your honest answer. Hmm. Interesting. Can't wait to see everyone's responses. Still vibing to this music. First up, the most disgusted this player has ever been was that one time when blank. Type in your lies now. Hmm. Time's running out. All right, pick the truth. <laughs> Total vibes. The most disgusted Albella has ever been was at one time. I found moldy bread in the kitchen. My boyfriend came on my face. She got rejected. They breathed in oxygen. There was a roach in the house. Someone farted. For a full minute, <laughs> two farts. All right, let's see what you guys. That's how get. you know they're true. <laughs> nice. Ah. Believe it or not. Hmm. Wow, from last game. Now listen up. 
one of this player's favorite past Halloween costumes was blank. Okay, enter your lies. Hmm. about that timer finish quick <laughs> right, texas roaches are no joke so i i believe you Ooh. one of icy diva's favorite past halloween costumes harley quinn zodiac costume garfield snow white Val from beauty and the beast sexy soda wacky inflatable wavy arm tube man <laughs> What did people pick? Ah, good lie. Garfield? No truth yet. Harley Quinn? Wow, good job. No one got it. I think that means you get points. And just like that. Oh wow, until I had Try moved. The most expensive I only heard they existed. Never solved them myself. From work was blank. All right, type in your lies. Yeah, roaches are not fun. <laughs> hmm. Pisces Diva 35. I don't know. Did it glitch again for okay, you? Okay, look for the truth and pick it. Ah, huh, the most fixed thing from last game is permanently borrowed from work was nothing. I'm a kind human being. Bean. Fridge. Toilet paper. Computer. Stapler. Red stapler. A stapler. <laughs> uh... Interesting. Let's see what everybody selected. Yay, someone chose my life. The specific red? Oh. Nice. Two people found the truth. question if this player had to punch one person in the face it would be blank <laughs> write your lies now hmm. Finish before time runs out. Okay, here are your choices. Oh my god, me? <laughs> no! I see Steve, I had to punch one person in the face. It'd be Hitler, Trump, Tiger Woods, Donald Trump, Dora the Explorer, Satan, or Ego. <laughs> Let's see what everybody picked. Interesting. <laughs> Lies. And it was also... Well, that was interesting. 
<laughs> exactly. There is no equivalent to Diva. Aww. That's twice I've fallen for a fake lie. Or... No one's lying. Yay! <gasps> Me! I'm shocked. <laughs> okay. Okay, focus up. It may seem weird, but this Kidding. player once bought blank online. <laughs> good, good. And your lies now. <laughs> I really hope so. Really hope so. Hmm. Hey, I'm serious about that timer. Finish quick. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. <laughs> it may seem weird, but question mark one spot. Mail order bride, bread maker, dildo, trading cards, underwear, chili oil, and sour patch kids. A pillow. <laughs> I'm really hoping okay, trading cards let's is the take truth. A look. Oh, yeah. Nice. All right, here it is. The celebrity's garage sale this player would most like to go to is blank. Okay, enter your lies. Hmm. Time's running out. Interesting. All right, where's the truth? Oh, man. <laughs> Bob the Builder. <laughs> Roger Corman, Katy Perry, Jack Black, Keanu Reeves, Oprah. to be Bob the Builder. <laughs> Let's see how things shook Fingers out. Fingers crossed. Please, Bob the Builder. Oh. <laughs> Counter Reeves. <gasps> Aha! Good lying there. Well fibbed. Would you believe? <gasps> it was Bob the Builder! Oh, I should have gone with my gut instincts. Let's see what we got. Pick my this head. This player's number one money saving tip <laughs> is to blank. All right, type in your lies. <laughs> that guy, man. <laughs> right? Finish quick before you ruin it for everyone! <laughs> Good. I presume you're referring to Jack okay, Black. Okay, <laughs> which one is the truth? <laughs> Only spend donation money. Cut out every coupon. Uh, don't buy anything. Not spend money. Never go out. Stream in Twitch Live. Not go out to eat all the time.
Okay, what did everyone <laughs> pick? Don't find anything. Bring in Twitch Live. Oh, wow. <gasps> the truth. To win you the day. Or the night. I'm in third. I take it. Time for the final round. Everyone's gonna write one truth and one lie about themselves. Anything you want, and make that lie good. You'll rack up points for every <laughs> sucker you fool, and for finding other players' truths. Go! Tick-tock, remember you need one truth and one lie before time runs out. Interesting. People are getting pretty creative. Could be good. Hurry, time's almost up. Seconds left. Submit. Submit. Now take a guess which statement about this player is true. My dog's name is Charlie. My dog's name is Bobby. Ah, wise. 50 50. I'm gonna go with Charlie because Charlie bit me. But it could be Bobby. Wow. Got lucky. Spot the truth. <laughs> and it really hurt. <laughs> May luck favor you all. Dog. My art was used. My art was used art at the field museum. Hmm. Because I really do hope you have a doggo to call your own. Wow. Take a guess. Which statement about Pisces Diva is true? I have a tattoo. Sister lives in Nebraska. Hmm. And the answer? Oh. Cool. You have a sister in Nebraska. Which statement about Abella is true? Traveled as student ambassador in Australia. 
Blade Reese on <laughs> Blade Reese on uh, Tomb of Unknown Soldier. Huh. This world's so cool. Why does one have to be a lie? Yeah. Which one? Huh, from last game. I like trading card games. Don't watch anime. <gasps> Don't watch anime. Hmm. Uh, I think I've selected. Give you a pass this time, since you don't watch anime. Oh, nice! <laughs> I only like two anime. That's it. So good. And the most likes, 12? Nice, congrats! <laughs> Unfortunately, this is this was not uh, uh, Abella's strong <laughs> strong point. Something about guessing. <laughs> Blocks or chakras. <laughs> nope. Okay, so we'll, we have time for one more. Do we want to do another? Fibbage, or do we want to do <laughs> regular Fibbage? Another go of this? You guys decide. Uh -uh. No guessing, unless percentages. Yeah. <laughs> then you have like a, I don't know, <laughs> like a 25% chance of getting it, getting one. <laughs> Spot on. Regular? Okay. Okay, I see two for regular. As long as I get to vibe to this music, let's do it. Alright. Regular it is, so let me go back. Everyone go ahead and uh, join the room. So good, the music. <clears throat> Everyone uh, who's in the stream, just hanging out. Feel free to join if you would like to. This is last game of the night. It's a good one. I'll wait about another 15 seconds or so. Come join us if you'd like. No problem if you don't want to. Alright, 10 seconds, and then we start the game. Last call. Going once. Going twice. Going thrice. All right, we're starting. There we go. Welcome to Fibbage, I'm Cookie, and according to the sorting hat, I'm a muggle. Five players? I take it one of you is single? Hmm? No? Mm. Fine. Oh, and anyone <laughs> else who wants to get in can be in the audience. You can vote on decoy answers to trip up the players, and you get to take a shot at guessing the truth. Let's go!
This is round one. You'll pick up 500 points for everybody you fool. And you'll get 1,000 for finding the truth. <laughs> Muggles unite. <laughs> Time to pick a category. First question. Wow. The band Insane Clown Posse was sued in 2017 for allegedly plagiarizing from blank. Now, on your device, type out a good lie that you think other players might believe is true. If you're stumped, you can hit the lie for me button, but using it's only worth half the points. Do it now. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I'm Slytherin. Nice. I'm Hufflepuff. Hurry, hit the live for me button if you can't friendly badass. Something. Okay, these are your choices. Pick the truth <laughs> on your device now. The band Insane Clown Posse was sued in 2017 for allegedly plagiarizing from Chicken Soup for the Soul, Vanilla Ice, It. Sane clown group squirting people with the fake flower, Barnum and Bailey. <laughs> I love this part. Ooh. Good guess. Vanilla Ice? Ooh -hoo. And it was also. Ah. Mm, kind of spooky. Pick it for the soul. Nice, you got it. Might you be a fan? <laughs> Every test I take lands me in Gryffindor. <laughs> cool. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Hey, let me show you something. It's time to look at This terrifying patent belongs to Deborah A. Morfet, proud inventor of the blank. Type in your lies now. Hmm. Hurry. Use the lie for me button if you're stuck. Okay, seek the truth. <laughs> Spatten belongs to uh, Deborah A. Morfit, proud inventor of the dildo, dog tree omatic, soul stealer, following backpack, dogotron, animal killer inventor. Soul Stealer? <laughs> but the dog treat matic Alright, who picked what? Dogatron. <laughs> Sorry. And you all missed it. You can strap this Halloween to a backpack. kid, but you may never see that kid again. Interesting. <laughs> okay, pick a category. Yeah, that was difficult. Let me do it for you. All right. <laughs> so weird. Okay, here's your question. In May 2017, a hiker in Arizona's Catalina Mountains stopped an aggressive mountain lion from attacking by simply blank. Write your lies now. Hurry up, use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. Okay, find the truth. 
In May 2017, a hiker in Arizona's Catalina Mountains stopped an aggressive mountain lion from attacking by simply yelling and waving his arms, taking off his sunglasses, simping, peeing, feeding it, yelling. <laughs> Cannibal Queen, simping. <laughs> Indeed. All right, let's see what everybody picked. <laughs> Obviously, the logical choice. <laughs> ah, it wasn't feeding it. Yelling and waving his arms. <laughs> Just yelling. Taking off his sunglasses. Wow. Mountain lions can be scared off by making eye contact, kind of like me on a date. Interesting. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> this is round two, which means all point values are doubled. Give me a category. Okay, here's the question. Jemima Packington has a special and unique skill. She claims she can predict the future by using blank. All right, type in your lies. Hmm. <laughs> Nugget of knowledge for my next hike in mountain lion country. Okay, take a look and find the indeed, truth. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> Demuma Packington has a special and unique skill. She claims she can predict the future by using orange rinse, dildar energy, B, her third nipple, tea leaves, sex, asparagus. Nuggies for Let's the win. Let's see what everybody selected. <laughs> Tea leaves. Why not? <laughs> Interesting. Ah, oh, so obvious. I was really hoping. Asparagus? Asparagus! I can predict the future of me eating asparagus, <laughs> and it isn't pretty. Huh. Ooh. The one with a nice steady lead. Select the category. Hmm. Here's a question for you. If you ever find yourself with nine hours to kill in Nashville, you can do what William Todd did in that time in 2012, which was blank. Type in your lies now. Okay, which one's the truth? <laughs> if you ever find yourself with nine hours to kill in Nashville, you could do what William Todd did in that time in 2012, which was licking cacti, perform heart surgery, impersonate a professor, commit 11 felonies, sing karaoke, kill people and eat them. <laughs> I love kill this Kill people part. and eat them. Alright. Oh, very bold. Ooh, two people fell. Eleven felonies? Wow! One was crapping on a law office desk. 
about which I have mixed feelings. I def okay. Definitely did not see that coming. How many times are you going to hear me say that tonight? Wow, in the lead by a long shot. And this is like a super close right, three-way tie for a second. <laughs> wow, interesting. Sorry to challenge you, I'll just pick this one. <laughs> what? Wow, wow. In the interest of national security, Ukraine instituted a May 2017 ban on blank entering the country. Enter your lies now. Hmm. Hurry up, use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. Okay, where's the truth? <laughs> Steven Seagal. In the interest of national security, Ukraine instituted a May 2017 ban on Ariana Grande, oversized bananas, fruit, Steven Seagal, domesticated minks, or llamas, uh, uh, entering the country. Maybe and Steven Seagal. What did people pick? <laughs> oversized bananas. <laughs> We'll see. Llamas. Did anyone choose bananas? Ah. Was it him? The truth. Some say it's because of Seagal's associations with Russia, but, but I'm betting they finally saw the clue. Vladimir Putin. He's met him before. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, that's like a perfect split by a thousand each. It's final pivot. Here we go. Time. Pay attention because this last one's worth triple points. Anything can happen. In a 2014 interview with Blaster, actor Adam West revealed that he once got kicked out of blank for blank. Okay, enter your lies. Something quick or use the life. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. In a 2014 interview with Blaster, actor Adam West revealed that he once got kicked out of PP Touch Club for touching oxygen, Macy's for impersonating Santa, Deluxe for intoxication, an orgy for pretending he was Batman, prison for sex with guards, school for hitting on a teacher. <laughs> an orgy. What Let's is see how it? Shook out. Oh no. Fell for the lie. And then you all fell for my lie. That was a big one. <laughs> that was a complete miss. Wow! Man, those naked idiots will never know what they missed out on. Adam West. Congratulations! Oh my god, Adam West. Alright. Ooh, two likes apiece. Three way tie. Damn, boy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
I did want to choose that one too, but I'm like, no, someone, someone made that up. <laughs> Just goes to show, never judge the gut feeling. GG, everybody. Uh, uh, good games. Question mark, question mark, question mark. I'm just gonna call you anonymous. <laughs> uh, it was a fun night. So much fun. Uh, uh, I'm glad we got to check out. Um, we did Quiplash. We did T-shirt KO. We did Murder tr mis Trivia Party. <laughs> Who is... Alright. We may never know. We may never know. Monster Seeking Monster. We played a lot of games. It was a lot of fun. So much fun. Really good answers. So many laughs. That's what these games are about. And just vibing to this music. This was, this was the only way we could end tonight. <laughs> Oh, there you go! <laughs> Is it Cannibal Queen? I was anonymous. That was, uh, MKE. <laughs> nope. Well played, well played. And some good lies, and you found the truth. That served you well. Indeed. GG, everyone. So many games. That's kind of like the Price is White. Price is White. <clears throat> That's how you know I'm tired. It's kind of like the Price is Right. <laughs> uh -uh. The, the, the color scheme. I just get Price is Right vibes. I just noticed. It was like bothering me. I'm like, this reminds me of a game show. Actual game show. <laughs> uh, but tonight was so fun. It reminds me of another game show. Whose line is it anyway? Where somebody wins and the points don't matter. <laughs> Great night once again, right? So good. Huge shout outs to everyone that participated. Pisces Diva, Albella, Nut Salt Boy, um, Mug Lord, aka Danger Zone 669. Um, Snoopy, who was part of the audience for a while. Cannibal Queen for being here, hanging out. Um, not Salt Boy, I didn't already say your name. Um, scrolling, just making sure I didn't miss anybody. We had a few people jump in and jump out. Uh -uh. <laughs> Good night, Nuts All Boy. Thank you for hanging out and participating. I really appreciate it. You take care. Uh -uh, but yeah, there was a few other players, uh, other games. Their names escaped me, but shout outs to them. Uh -uh. So much fun. Can't stress that enough. So much fun. Um, I will be back tomorrow night for another stream, but it won't be Jackbox. I'm actually going to be playing a uh, curated game of Among Us um, with some uh, loyal viewers of mine. Um, but Jackbox will return one more night, I think, to finish off four and then to go and uh, probably check out five as well. Um, I'm thinking Friday. Uh -uh. I'm going to be off Turkey Day, Thanksgiving, uh, Thursday. Be with family, enjoy some food, just <laughs> eat myself into a 12 hour coma. <laughs> and then hopefully awake from it for a stream uh, the following night but yes 
so much fun. So, uh, uh, most likely Friday. I should be back for one more night of Jackbox. We can uh, continue checking out Jackbox Party Pack 4 and then hopefully uh, jump into Party Pack 5. Uh, and then I don't have 6 or 7, but um, maybe at a later date. Check those out as well. It's been fun. <laughs> I really... So... Take this music. Sorry, that's neat to hear it over there. But again, shout out to all of you. Thank you for everyone that participated. Everyone who was hanging out. Everyone being friendly. <laughs> Tryptophan. <laughs> Hmm, interesting. Oh wait, is that say trap defend? <laughs> is that the name of a game? I'm a little my, my mind is all manner of making sense escapes me at the moment. <laughs> but again, thank you all. As I always say, your viewership, your support. Your participation on the stream never goes unnoticed or taken for granted, so thank you again for hanging out with me. Sleepy Fountain. Oh! Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have so many... So many, uh... I may just overdose on that stuff. If, if that could even be achievable. <laughs> if not, I might get dangerously close. <laughs> but yeah. I will have Thanksgiving off. I hope everyone enjoys their Thanksgiving. Uh, but, um, yeah. Like I was saying, uh, it's that time of the night for my number one mod within my dad bod. Dim Kira calls the Truman Show outro. So I just want to say to everyone hanging out and hanging out uh, at the end of the stream with me, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I hope to see you guys again for the next Jackbox stream. And I just want to say, no matter where you're watching from, and uh, I hope you all have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I'm Mango the Visual Culturist, signing out. Good night, everybody else. Catch you later.